being normal. <laughs> Come on, let's get this over with. I want to eat my cake. No, <laughs> you can eat your cake while you do it. I want to no. eat cake. She said, what if I eat my dessert? I want to have my dessert. This is what we're really doing. Have one, Grandma. You're no, allowed to eat the video. Let's go. You're not in it. It's no yeah. dogs. Stay down like a good boy. It's grandmothers. My mom is a wonderful person. I always felt God sent her down. She's an angel on earth. She's the angel on earth. Anyone that's in this room can tell you a story. She is the angel on earth. Don't let her size fool you. She's got more energy than all of us put together. I always refer to her as the Energizer Bunny. She has taught us strength, and she is a fighter. There is nothing she's going to give in to. What I love most is the dedication and the love she has. She's the most dedicated, you know, she has that love, that strong, strong love. It's one thing to know if mom's always gonna be at something, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, mm -hmm. you try your best to get there. Cause you know, the glue, the rock, the person that started it all is gonna be there. Mm -hmm. No matter what I was interested in, she was interested in. She was always behind you no matter what. My mom is the most amazing person in the world. Everyone should know what she's all about and she should be celebrated for what she does. You know, she's, she's just amazing. What does it mean to me she's turning 90? Well, I've been blessed to be named after my mom and to have her on the surf for 90 years, I think we're all blessed. I think my mom is one of the most amazing people on this earth. Um, I like, I like to, when I think of my mom, I like to think of things that she has taught us in a sense. And um, growing up, I was always taught that I was to treat others as, as I was going to be treated or somebody in my family was. She loves everyone. She cares for everyone. She wants to help everyone. And that goes for family, friends, no matter who it is. Uh, she's always been open-hearted. She's always been kind, generous. Uh, I can remember as a child, we'd always have somebody sleeping over cousins, friends, my dad would say, how many people do we have today? Her home was always open to everyone. I, I always think about in fifth grade, I did a play. After the play was over, she bought cookies and, um, and fruit punch for all the kids in the class. And nowadays, parents do that all the time. But then, back then, nobody did that. And I, I was so proud because everybody was like, oh my, your mother's the best, you know? And every, and when everybody loved it, it was, it was just a great feeling. I remember when we had a, we, this pop-up trailer came to the house. And it was later on in life, so Patricia and I were kind of a little excited about maybe we get to go camping, you know? So this pop-up trailer ends up on the side of our house. And uh, before you know it, there are people living in it. <laughs> a lot of cousins living in it. And then we came to realize it was actually another place for mom and dad to help somebody else that needed help. I don't think we ever went camping in. <laughs> when we were first married, um, we sold our house in Brentwood, and mom didn't have the room in the house. She had a trailer on the side of the house, on the grass, and we lived in the trailer until we were able to buy our, our, our new house. But that's just how she is, you know? Her family, her kids, her grandkids, great-grandkids, they all come first. Well, my mom can always tell the mood. You know, if I'm tired, when I come over, she'll say, you look tired. If something's bothering me, she'll say, you're upset over something. She's always been like that. 
and she still is and uh, and I could say to her no nothing's bothering me but she'll be like I know something's bothering you I know there's something wrong and lots of times she pegs things right on the head <laughs> like I, I tell everybody you know mother of eight a grandmother over 50 times people just cannot believe those numbers when you talk about it and it is simply amazing to me the strength that she has even at this point, you know, in celebrating her 90th birthday. It starts with a foundation, and my parents have given us a tremendous foundation. My father worked so hard to support us, gave us everything we ever wanted, and he worked, but when he came home, he came home to my mother. My mom and dad were the type of people to have eight children. They thought of us first. We had everything everybody else had. My dad worked very hard, day job, night job, weekends, so that we would have everything, and we did. The love, just the, the unbelievable amount of love the two of them had. You know, you could only wish to be that committed to somebody. Well, my dad worked hard. He uh, always had at least two jobs. He kind of implanted in you the feeling of the necessity to take care of your family. And mom was like the backbone that held everything together. She is loving, kind, ever since I was little, always giving to all of us, to our friends, our neighbors. What she wanted to achieve in her life was to be a mom and to have children that loved each other. It's interesting because when I think about childhood, the big thing I think about is the holidays. I mean, I don't think there's a holiday that we ever missed, but you can never forget Christmas. I mean, Christmas Eve at 76 Vaughan Drive was just uh, unbelievable. When you think of all the gifts that they used to pile up downstairs in the hallway and Dad used to call out our names one at a time. It just, that, that part was so much fun and just being together, and the way we all were, we we actually all shared everything. We had a lot of friends, but we didn't need friends because our family, our siblings, we were all friends. Memories are Christmas. That was the best. When we were young, we would all go to bed, then Santa would come, but before we went to bed, my dad would bring up all the Christmas presents from downstairs, and he would call out the name on the package, and we'd all run and get our package and put it in a pile, and we all would open our gifts together. That was special. I'll never forget that. <laughs> it's mom. It's dad. It's the, it's the love that they had for each other, that they showed how much they cared for each other, for their families, extended families. Um, the love, the laughter. The, f the first time I met her, I don't know if it was either the first time I met her or it could have been the second time, but it was no later than the second time. I already called her mom. People call her mom because there's respect and love and the caringness of a mother, and she did that for all people. You know, that's, I was so comfortable calling her mom immediately. I remember having our kids, I mean, this is even with kids, and I remember her being around when they were babies and younger and listening to all the stories of her eight children, and here I am, like maybe the second or the third, thinking frantically, or maybe a frantic moment in time with everything that might be going on, and her comments to me sometimes, I'd always remember these specific comments. The comments would be, 
Oh, but you know, it is difficult now. It was so different when I was a mom, even though I had eight kids, I had so much help. My older kids helped me with the younger kids. You have it so much more difficult. She would always like just make you feel like you sh you, it was okay to be a little bit, you know, frantic at the moment. I always remember that feeling of comfort saying that there was just enough of whatever she had to go around no matter what. I've had the privilege of really calling her mom because uh, you know, she embodies all, all of those traits that, uh, that I think are awesome uh, to, be, to, to be able to bring down to children. And, 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 and really, when I think of it, for those reasons, I can understand why uh, her children turned out the way they did. They're just awesome people. In fact, uh, for me personally, um, I feel as though they uh, are not only my truest friends, but they are my brothers and sisters too. And that really stems from her. From the very beginning, I mean, we've been together a long time, uh, 47 years. So she welcomed me into the family like I was hers, like I was a daughter. And I'll never forget that. She's special. Mom does a lot of letter writing and care packages for soldiers overseas, some here, some overseas. And about 10 years ago, I became Cub Master of a pack, and we were looking for a way to give back to the soldiers, to the military that weren't here. My mom suggested the letter writing and the care packages, and it turned into an unbelievable thing. And I'll never forget one night we had a pack night, and a soldier came to speak to the boys and the girls so they understood about how much it meant to them, you know, that they received the letters, the gifts, and he actually made the statement that he, that holiday season they had only gotten two packages. One was from our pack and the other one was from my mother. And he explained how they had this route they had to go out on every day when they did their patrol, and they befriended a lot of the young boys and girls that lived in this town, buy stuff from the care packages. They would give them items. And one morning they actually went out to go on a patrol and he said that a boy had stopped him and told him there were landmines on the route. So he actually said in front of all the boys and the girls that, you know, not for those two care packages and some of that relationship building, they may have not have told us and we could have been killed. So you think back to something about, you know, writing letters, care packages going out and sometimes you don't even realize all the things she did that she never even kind of got credit for. You know, it's amazing. She says her rosaries every night. Every morning when she gets up, she kisses her rosaries. And she says thank you, because she opened her eyes. And that's one of the things she has taught me, is every day is a wonderful day. When you get up in the morning and your eyes are open. And that is like a tradition that I see her do every single day. She says her prayers, she does her rosaries at night and kisses them in the morning and thanks God for opening up her eyes. How many people can say that you know an angel on earth, a person that gives and gives without measuring net worth, dedicating endless hours to the people in her family and even more hours to the people she may never see? How many people can say that no one dislikes them, she took so many in, no matter the problem. Able to say so much by saying so little, takes her goodwill to action, sometimes she stood in the middle. How many people can say they know an angel on earth? I am fortunate to say I have witnessed since birth unconditional love, dedication and sacrifice, how to be a better person and never put a price on being nice. This is the end. There is no more. I'll sip inside it. This is the end. There is no more. I'll sip inside it.